in Australia, we only have the grades 1 to 5. And in Germany, they have the grades 1 to 6. Where's the rest of them? Where's 3, 4? Eh? 1, 2, 6? 1, 2, 5? Uh, <laughs> uh, so, um... You want to farm gold in, in Holocure, right? Right? So, right now, there's an amazing strategy. Pretty much how it works is... I'm not 100% sure, but I'll try to explain what I managed to figure out. My theory, and this is unconfirmed... Oh my god, stop giving me anvils. My theory, and this is unconfirmed because I have to test it a bit more, but the ghost that Ina produces with the circle, you know, she has like a 60 or 40% chance to convert all the enemies inside the circle into a ghost, that ghost will walk towards you, it will touch you, and the touch will heal you. Yeah, except that this touch seems to count as an attack. I did notice when I had the uh, headphones, well, I have them, and the ghosts were touching me, like no enemy was around, it would either heal me or it would show miss. Miss would mean that it counts as an attack, and that attack was then blocked by the headphones. Yeah, okay, but what has this to do with the entire thing? Well, let's take a look at Plushy. So, Plushy makes you invulnerable after you get hit for 0.5 seconds. Now imagine there are a lot of ghosts around. Like, yes, you do get hit as you can see, but most of the time, just, just a little tiny bit and, and that's it. And I think that is the reason why this entire thing works. So, in other words, if you haven't figured this out, you're pretty much unkillable until you're so far in that you get to a point where they just one-shot you. If you think that Gura was insane with the one to two hours that people reach on her, I think even up to three hours, the lowest one I've seen on this character is five hours. Five, okay. So how about we talk about weapons, then we go over the items, then what you choose on a level up, and after that some tips and tricks in regards to settings. So first of all, the weapons. I actually don't believe you need as many weapons as I have. The main goal that you need to achieve is that you get to minute 30 and you have around 400 to 700 HP. The more you have, the more reliable it is. But honestly, in this run here, for example, I was at 280 and it was still enough, you know? So it's a lot easier than on Gura. And I would say you're probably better off just going only for elite cooking than the BL book combination. And after that, you just pick up individual weapons that do not combine, since every single collab that you save, saves you 7 level ups that you could use on HP instead. Obviously attack speed or something else, whatever you want to go for, right? So that is pretty much all about the weapons, and we don't really have to go further. As you can see here, the main way to kill them is with the circle, and it's logical since eventually they will have so much HP that you simply can't kill them anymore. Like, they gain per minute 20% HP, which will outscale you, since the level ups will take longer and longer and longer, so you level up less and you can't outscale them. So let's talk about the items, we have the Succubus Horns, they heal you whenever you kill an enemy, which is amazing because it seems to get triggered when you have the circle and it converts the enemies. Now I'm not sure if it's triggered when it converts the enemies or when the ghosts touch you and that makes them die, but whatever it is, you know, the result is the same. The Blushy, obviously, I think this is actually the core of the strategy that makes this possible. So pretty much a uh, big chunky enemies, they are fighting with the little tiny ghosts around you to hit you. And whenever a ghost hits you, you have 0.5 seconds longer invulnerability and time to recover health, which is why you barely see my health going down. The milk is only amazing for the pickup range and the AoE, which helps you to get to higher levels. But I would say it's it's not even that important. Like if I'm right with my theory, then the only thing that you really need is Plushy and probably the Succubus Horns. The experience obviously is also amazing, since it helps you level up faster, but instead of having the milk, instead of having the headphones, since headphones are also just for protection, and instead of having the double healing, as you can see, most of the time I'm actually full HP because of the amount of invulnerability, you could probably take something like the gold card, you could probably even take damage to make sure that you definitely reach the HP threshold, and stuff like this. But if you want to have it guaranteed, then just go for this, Farm up all the characters, farm up all the upgrades that you want to have, farm up all the future characters, like, you can go crazy. So next up, let's talk about level up choices. HP is super duper important early on, but eventually you'll get to a point where taking HP, it doesn't matter, okay? 
Like, while I was concerned that I will eventually die since the damage keeps going up, I said the moment it goes to half HP or maybe to a third, I will start picking up HP again, but since then I've stopped taking HP and I only go for gold. I would still recommend that you go for at least maybe 700 to 1000 to make sure that you don't die, since otherwise you have to replay 30 minutes and it, it, it's, you know, it's not that much fun. Just with the intent for gold farming, that's what I mean. Aside from that, you can go for crit, you can go for damage, but as you can see, I went for it quite a lot and then just stopped. It's nothing in comparison to what you see some other people reach, but uh, it, does this look like it's needed? <laughs> like, <laughs> you know? You can see outside here, where they are lining up, that I'm actually not killing any one of them. The circle that converts them is pretty much what is doing 90% of the killing. And the only thing that is good is pick up range, so you get all the experience, you get all the gold. But uh, yeah, you, you don't really need more, it looks like. Finally, we have the settings, and this is probably the most important. I would recommend you playing on the lowest resolution, and then you can go around and just watch random stuff on YouTube or whatever you want to do. You can even set up a macro that just auto plays itself. Every five seconds, it just clicks down three times and then presses spacebar, because gold seems to be always in the bottom slot. Turn off the damage numbers, turn off visual effects, turn off screen shake. I don't even know what this really does, but like, just do it. I don't know if it has an impact. And aside from that, you might even want to completely turn off the music and the sound, because I do know some games have a lot of issues with that, if a lot is going on. I'm now one hour in. I think at 30 minutes I had around 2.5k gold, since I also upgraded some of my weapons. But if I would do this again, I don't think I would ever upgrade anything anymore. And I would honestly not even go for all the attack and crit and attack speed. One thing I'm not sure about is whether the haste affects the circle or not. Because the cooldown is supposedly 5 seconds, but if you can see where the circle is, where is it there? You have a better time now because you're on YouTube, you can literally just look when the circle spawns and see if it takes 5 seconds to trigger again. And I feel like this is right now at 2.5 seconds maybe. So the more haste you have, the more kills you will get. So there might be valid reason to say, yep, I should definitely go for a lot of haste. But I think once you're around 130% or so, it doesn't seem to matter too much. But hey, you can go for it. So I just want to give a little haste update. I did check the recording and it took around one second before one circle would appear after the last one disappeared, okay? So the current one disappears, it took one second, then the next one appears. Now again, like this is really hard to see because you have to pause and then go back when did the circle disappear, when did the next one appear. But as you can see up here is the current circle and down here the one pretty much already spawns the moment the other one disappears, like right away. And as you can see over here, I pretty much only doubled the haste that I had. Like I think I was at 130% or so. And now I'm at 255. Now why would you do that? Well, it's pretty much the only method how you kill them. So the further you go, the less kills you'll have and the harder it will become to maintain your HP. But overall, it also means you level up faster. And as you might see, it takes very long to level up at this point. Like really, really long. Now, do you want to go ham with the haste or not? I'm honestly not too sure. Like the amount of haste that I put in here, let's just take the 125%. Each 5% is worth 100 gold, okay? So I spent 2.5k gold to get to this point here, from the 130 to the 255. I think that's worth it. Like, that should definitely be worth it. This all depends on how the waves really spawn, but it almost looks like, to me, the less enemies that are around, the more enemies will spawn. Meaning the faster you kill them, the more enemies will spawn, the more experience you get, the faster you level up in comparison to a similar run, and the more gold you should get. I mean, look at this, I'm at 57k gold, okay? It's like, th that is a lot of gold, right? So I would definitely say, if you want to go for haste, do go for haste. And you might notice something else. After going for a lot of haste, look at, look at my HP. <laughs> It's actually really, really hard to see a time where my HP ever decreases, probably because there are so many ghosts around that they simply can't hit me. Oh, oh, did you, oh, did you see that? <laughs> it went down for a split second to 1130. Oh my god, this is insane. Oh, that, that was, that was quite a big jump. No, but honestly, the more haste I got, the easier this has become. My fear was that they would get so strong that they would just one-shot me, but I haven't taken any HP upgrades since the last time we talked, and everything has just gotten better. So, yeah, no idea how long this will continue. I'm just a messenger, I don't know exactly how it works right now. I'll try to figure it out, but the reason why I bring it out right now is I think this will get patched very soon. Like, this is a problem for the game. <laughs> so, um, uh, if you want to do it, do it now. If you don't want to do it because it's cheesy, uh, don't do it. I, I just want to max out everyone, you know? And have the future characters also maxed out. 
And that's a lot of gold. I mean, with six characters, we're talking about more than 120k gold that you need to max them out with all the 20 duplicates that you need. So that was it for me. I'm Dex. I'll go back to watching some YouTube. If you enjoyed the video and if you want to see more Holocure, then feel free to subscribe. And I'm out.